trapping season. We did set a few traps by in the house for coyotes and kit fox. Caught one of each. So now we're uh, heading out to a spot to set some cat traps. So it's not where we scouted, it's a different area. Um, just to do this first part of the season, it's not going to be a real long trap line yet. So we're going to try to get some traps out, try to catch some spots uh, before we get too serious with our trapping. So a little bit different this season. Uh, right now we're just a few traps, we're going to be doing some calling and stuff. And then uh, we'll get really get into it in January when I can keep out a super long trap line. Um, be in and out for holidays and trapping alone, I had to build every trap check. So I just want something small that I can go set off traps when holidays come. And then uh, we'll do our big line starting in January because I have nothing going on in January and February. So that's our plan. So uh, this area I've trapped it before. Um, trapped a little bit different than <clears throat> I normally trap it. So I'm kind of going in blind, half blind. Um, so hopefully we can find some good cat sign and uh, get out some good cat sets. So let's see how today turns out. So I just put a coyote set over there. I didn't take video of our last cat set thing. Oh well. And while I was over there, I had Brody over here at the shed we found and he made. What kind of set? Um, a, uh, a, a kit fox. Oh, for kit fox. He made a little kit fox set. So they get, they step in the rocks and then they just stand there and wait for us, he said. So there's a little bit of flagging in there for lure. So, all right, but let's keep going. It's so right here. I just made a little cubby set. I normally don't do cubby sets, but this is a good spot because there's two washes that kind of combined right here. And uh, so I got my flag there. And once that starts spinning, it's a good attractor. Got some uh, Powder River Cat Call on that. And so I'm about to put some gusto up high and then I'm done with this set. Here's another set and put a little bit more blocking on it, but that just fell on there. Got that, got my flag up, my spinner flags. Can't really see those stepping sticks. Gotta put one more on there, but that's what my typical cat set looks like. Just in a wash, so that's a uh, second trap out for the day. Try to get out another 10 more. Brody, what do we got up here? A bobcat. A bobcat, nice bobcat. This set right here, I took a video of, came up, sticks are a little messed up, not much. And look at, look at that bobcat. First week, second check, and we got a big bobcat. Oh man, there's a big turd here. It's one of the only turds we found in this area. And man, that's a big bobcat, dude. We got a bobcat. He did. Look at the muscles too. Lucky muscle shirt, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice job, dude. This is why trapping at night is scary. I have a set right here. I had this chain hooked on a drag. I was trying to follow it. And that cat was laying right here. Couldn't even see it. it scared the crap out of me when he ran. If we got anything or not. What? Bobcat. Bobcat? <laughs> what do we got, dude? Bobcat! Yeah. Not checking traps again, huh? Bobcat. What? Bobcat. Another one? Yeah. Same trap? Yep. Is it a good, pretty one? That's a Different really pretty one. cat, huh? Big Different one. one. Different one. Different trap. Yeah, same trap. Oh, Trying is... to climb the tree, huh? Yeah. I don't think he's going to make it. How many cats is that? Five. Dude, right here, dude. Bump it. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. Same trap. Same set as our last one. One week later. 